call law, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. All right, man. That's who this world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, an ancient paleo Hebrew tongue. You know, first and foremost, I like to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach her well. You know, and, and who are truly the overseers of Israel today, right? Um, also, I like to give a big shout out to the Akuza, you know, who I also teach under out here in Greenville, South Carolina, you know, the head of the men of Israel camp, right? And then I also like to give a big shout out to the you Akim, that's you brothers, you know, across the four corners of the earth. That's how you're pushing and teaching this truth and sincerity, you know, first and foremost, 100% truth, um, you know. Um, I'll add it to you, Akwa. Uh, to you, Akwa, that's your sisters, you know, across the four corners of the earth, you know, that truly believe, man, truly and truly take heed, you know, to these scriptures, man, to this truth, man, to this law says and commandments, to you, how about you know, shot, man? All right, and to y'all, I would say Shalom, man. All right, it's the Abdu'ba, you know, back through the spirit and power of you, how about you know, shot, man? Um, just back, you know, once again. You know, with another exhortation or lesson, going into as you can see by the by the title, I think I was gonna name it uh Why Speaketh in Parables, right? You right, and this was a question for Yahweh Shah in the scriptures. This is this was a question for Yahweh Shah. Why did Yahweh why did Yahweh Shah speak in parables, right? Alright, but I was without too much more to say, man, let's go to get right into it, man. Alright, so we're gonna start out. In the book of Matthew, chapter 13, right? Book of Matthew, chapter 13, we're going to start at verse 10, right? It says, And the disciples came and said unto him, him being Yahweh Shah, once again, saying, Why speakest thou unto them in parables, right? He answered, Yahweh Shah answered, and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not. To them it is not, man. Basically, to break that down, man, the one, the brothers who are out here pushing and teaching this truth and sincerity that has the hundred percent truth, this truth was given to them, man. The the mysteries were given to them, you know. It wasn't given to everybody else, man. It wasn't given to the two-thirds, to the heathens, to the other nations, man. It was only given, you know, to to those to those prophets, man. To those specific uh specific prophets. And then these times being the elect. Right? So and, and, and how much I said it's not given to everybody. This truth ain't for everybody. Is given the, the Yahweh Shemal Shah didn't give this truth to everybody to go out here and be a living sacrifice for him. Because he already know everybody wasn't gonna do that anyway. So the ones who are gonna do it, the ones who will do it, it's for them to understand the parables, to understand the mysteries, to be able to break down it and, and push it. You know, to be that living sacrifice. It was for them, man. It wasn't like I said, man, it wasn't for everybody else. So that's why Yahweh Shah had to let him know. That's why that's why he speaks in parable. Because he's not gonna sit right here. What is what does that scripture say? Um, um don't give up thy jewels or something like um, or something like that. Um roughly paraphrasing. Um roughly paraphrasing, I think that's what it, that's what it says. Don't like don't about basically not giving up your jewels, not giving up this this truth, man. You know, to 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 a nobody, right? Because once again, it's not for everybody, man. It's not for everybody. But now I'm gonna speak on for the ones that do have it, man. You know, sometimes you know we may ask ourselves, like like like, why me? How, what the Lord bless me with this wisdom, not to understand it. First of all, the water you how about you, man? shot, but the Lord bless me with it. Why is that? And the reason that the Lord did that, and the reason the Lord allowed us um, to understand it, to be able to break down the mysteries and parables, is because, you know, ultimately we were chosen from the beginning, man. 
He knew us from from in the womb. He knew us from from before we were even formed. He knew who he was gonna bless with that man. And it just so happened to, to be, you know, um, the men of the Lord are here, you know, uh, under the umbrella of GMS because that's what 100 percent truth is, you know. And that's just what it happens to be. The Lord has chosen, you know. I'm gonna speak on the elders, right, and the head of and the head of the camp that I'm a part of. Um, but we also, like I said, we give double honors to GMS. So Elder Apostle Tahar, um, Elder Apostle uh, Gabar, Elder Apostle Aramla, Elder Apostle Rakaf. The Lord has blessed those men, man. And like I said, the head of the camp that I'm upon, the Elder Apostle um, um, Salakim, Salakim, Salakim. The head of the camp, Al Kazak, man. Right? The Lord has blessed those men with this wisdom knowledge, this, with this wisdom knowledge and understanding, man. And we're all just walking in the footsteps of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. So the Lord blessed, blessed us all with it. With this wisdom not to understand it, man. And we can't do nothing but say the Wadi Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah first and foremost. But let me get that, man. We're going to go to. Um, let me see. Let me see. Take off David Dillon. Let me get it right here. So I can we get it right here. Alright. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. This is verse 13, right? Alright, second Thessalonians, second Thessalonians 2. This is verse 13, right? It says, But we are bound to give thanks always to you how about Shinawa Shah. That's right. We are always, uh, we're bound to always give thanks to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua because without Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, I mean, we wouldn't even be blessed with this wisdom and understanding, first and foremost, but we wouldn't even be living. We wouldn't even be upon upon this earth right now if it wasn't for Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, right? All right, continuing on, it says, um, always, um, continue, I'm starting at the title, it says, but we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua for you, brethren, beloved. Of the Lord, because Yahweh Bashmiel Shah have cho have selected, because Yahweh Bashmiel Shah have from the beginning chosen you to salvation through a uh, signification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Right now, the point that I'm hitting on is chosen from the beginning, man. Chosen from the beginning, way back when, before we were even formed. Like I said earlier. Before we even, before we were even formed, formed or born or whatever, however y'all want to put it, the Lord knew who He was going to choose. So it was easy work for the Lord. The Lord already knew who He was going to bless with, with, with His wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. And that's why, and He already knew off of Him blessing those specific men with His wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They'll understand the parables. They'll understand, they'll understand the mysteries of why he speaks like that. They'll be able to truly understand the scriptures. Because not everybody's able to understand the scriptures, man. That's why you got a lot of bugged out motherfuckers, man. And that's true. That's a fact. That is why you have a lot of bugged out people. Because they, they were not blessed with this loose knowledge and understanding, man. They were not blessed with being able to understand the parables and the mysteries of this truth, man. In the scriptures, man, they were not. Right? I'm going to jump to John, the book of John, chapter 15. This verse 16, right? It says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go forth Talakim, that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you, right? All going into the same thing. The Lord has chosen us from the beginning. The Lord has chosen us from the beginning, man, with, with understanding 
his parables with understanding how he says things, how he puts something. He's chosen us from the beginning to do that, to understand that. No, it's another scripture. Let me get that. I think it's Jeremiah 1. Kind of Jeremiah 1 and 5. It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of thy womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. The Lord, the Lord is not going to slot him. The Lord is not going to um, give every so-called prophet his wisdom and understanding and, and, and give them the ability to understand the parables and mysteries. The Lord's not going to do that. You know, a lot of Christians love to say the Lord is going to give bless everybody. You come down to the altar, the Lord is going to bless you with it. Da, 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 da. That's, 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 that's false. And that's not what's going to happen. That's not what's, that's not what's going to happen at all. The Lord is only going to give his, uh, give the ability to certain men to be able to break down and to understand the parables, to understand the mysteries, to understand, you know, everything, how it's, uh, put in certain ways in the scriptures, man. The Lord only gave that to certain men to be able to break that down. And that's why you have, uh, that's why he says, um, Go uh, in the last scripture in John um, um, 15, 16, John 15, chapter 15, verse 16. That's why he says, once you, those men, when they find out or, or read and study and bring forth the understanding of the mysteries and parables to go bring forth fruit. Right. That's why you got the elect and the great multitude. Because those certain men, the Lord is blessed to understand that and break that down to go to go prophesy and that's exactly why he didn't he didn't he didn't give it to everybody man the lord didn't give that 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 spiritual power to everybody man the lord couldn't man because if the lord did man israel would take it and run a mile with it i'm talking about and not the right way But that's all leads back to why Yahweh Shemel Shah answered that question saying of why he has to speak in parables, why he speaks in parables, why he has to speak in parables. Because it's not for them. It's not meant for them to have it. It's meant for those chosen people that he's already chosen, that Yahweh Shemel Shah has chosen from the beginning to understand it. That's why I wanted to being chosen. The, 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 what, that's why I bring out uh, a few scriptures Going into Yahweh Shemashah saying only the people I he's chosen will understand what I'm saying. Because back in Matthew 13, uh, 10, it says uh, it's not for them, basically. It's for you. Why is it for you? Because I've chosen you from the beginning too. You know what I mean? Let me see. Matter of fact, we're going to jump back to uh, Matthew 13. I'm going to go on down. Um, right, I'm going to start right here. This book of Matthew chapter 13 is verse 16. It says, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and, and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Right? Because once again, it's not for them to understand it. That's why you got all these pastors out here. That's why you got the, all these vocab malonies out here. Um, that's why you got all these, you know, all these other people that try to break down the scriptures and they slaughter it because it's not right what they're saying. That's why. It's not for them. 
they they it said the scripture just said those men like that will desire to have what the men of the Lord have, but they don't have it. What did it just say? They don't they don't see the things men of the Lord see. They don't hear the things men of the Lord hear. So they're not gonna be able to break down things men of the Lord can break down. Because men of the Lord will bless with that, man. And those men of the Lord, the Lord had chosen them from the beginning to do that, man. And that all goes into the answer of Yahweh's question. Why he speaks in parables. That's why it's not given to everybody. Because he already chose a select few to do so. Not the whole nation. Not the whole nation, man. That's why that's why that's why two-thirds of Israel gotta be put to death anyway. No, but that's another topic for another day, man. But but that's why you have about Shemel and Shah said he has to do that. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody in your family. It's not for all your friends. It's not for all these uh, heathen. It's not, man. It's just, you know, it's for those specific men of the Lord, man. You know, but man, yeah, how I out that video was edifying. This video was edifying. The point was made. And, and, and really what I want to say is, you know, for the brothers who do have the opportunity to have this wisdom, now to understand it and be able to understand the parables and mysteries and break them down, man, you need to say the Wadi how about Shemel Shah for that? Because I know I do. Because once again, like I just said, everybody don't have that. People envy that. People envy people with that, man. But everybody don't have it. So don't take it for granted. We don't need to take it for granted. We need to do it, uh, use it with the best of our ability, man. That's like, it's like we need to use it to the best of our ability. And don't just... Be out here, you know, being fugazi, trying to run around boasting. Woo the high, woo the high. You know what I mean? We need to say the water you have by Shemel Shah for blessing me with this opportunity. Actually, a brother did a video on that. I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was uh, the brother um, in GMS, uh, GMS Inspiration and Motivation. If I, I think it's an old video he did. This old video, but it just came to my mind, you know, saying, uh, uh, thanking the Lord for this opportunity because this is opportunity, man, for us to be blessed with 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 this wisdom, and understanding. But that is definitely a big opportunity because once again, I, like I just broke out of the scriptures, man. Everybody don't have that opportunity, so it's, it's so you don't need to take granted of this opportunity. You need to use this opportunity to the best of your ability. Need to do with this opportunity to the best of your ability, man. Because you take it for granted, man, the, the Lord will just strip that away. Simple as that. You know? But man, with that, like I said, you have to this video was edifying. The point was made. Brothers were uh, able to take from it and understand more. You know? Um, you know, I like to end it off once again by giving all praises. Honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Wakaf Wadash. All right, man. And with that, continue to keep the faith, man, and continue to say the Wadi Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, man. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it, man. Shalom, shalom, shalom.